Hello everyone, it's Teacher Sultan here with another video. This is Lesson 6, Part 2. So make sure that you watch all the other videos, but especially Lesson 6, Part 1. Because this is the next part of that. Okay. And it's a festive time of year. Lots of people are celebrating Christmas and New Year. So I hope you're having a good time, everyone. Uh, thanks for subscribing to me and let's go ahead with our lesson let's go ahead so last time you learned lots about different hobbies and activities things that you like to do okay we've been talking about what do you like to do okay. and last time at the end of the lesson I asked a question an activity uh, I had lots of hobbies there and you had to make a sentence what do you like to do with all of these pictures can you see so what we'll do is let's try and answer that now okay so if you didn't do it pause the video and try and answer that now okay but otherwise you could say two options don't forget you can say I like to sing or I like singing right so there's two options one I like to sing go to the beach, go to cafes, go jogging, watch YouTube videos, go bowling, play video games, travel, and do yoga. Okay, Or you can keep them all the ING. Um, and some of them, with the ING, you can or don't have to say going for those two there. I will say them for example. I like singing, going to the beach, going to cafes, going jogging, watching YouTube videos, going bowling, playing video games, traveling and doing yoga. Alright, so hopefully you can do that. Okay. Um, if you're having troubles, go back to Lesson 6 Part 1 and watch again and keep learning the vocabulary, the names of the different hobbies and activities. Okay. But let's do some more practice, okay? So here I want you to try and make one sentence about these four pictures, okay? So pause the video and try and do that, okay? If you've done it, what do you like to do? I like to go shopping, play board games, cook, and swim, or or and go swimming. Both are okay. Or keep them all ing. I like going shopping, playing board games, cooking and swimming, or and going swimming. All right, very good, guys. Very good. So let's look here at the more of the conversation when you're having a conversation, because I love to teach about this. Okay, guys. So let's look. You can be the green. You can read the green. I will read the blue. What do you like to do? Let's read together. I like to watch TV, listen to music, and cook. I also like to eat out and travel. What about you? I like jogging, hiking, and cooking. I also like to play video games and go to the gym. Right. Very good, very good. So there, you can see, if you like many things, you can stop the sentence um, and make two sentences. But you can even just say one thing, like, I like, uh, I like traveling, swimming, running, going to the gym, going to cafes, and playing video games. Okay? You can make one sentence. Don't forget the AND. So the last one, if you like seven things, you say the first six AND going to the gym or whatever the last one is okay don't forget and lots of people forget all right let's swap now I want you to tell me what you like to do okay so what do you like to do so pause the video and tell me okay. and don't forget to ask me teacher Sultan what do you like to do for me I like to play badminton travel watch TV and movies uh, 
do exercise, go to cafes, cook and eat. Those are my favorite things to do. All right. And let's practice just asking about one thing. So here for example, do you like to do yoga? Right? You can also say do you like doing yoga? But usually people just say do you like to do you like to do yoga? Do you like to play basketball? Do you like to cook? Do you like to swim? That's the easiest one. So I recommend that. So so do you like to do yoga? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. How about you? All right. Let's practice a couple more. Do you like to go to cafes? Do you like to travel? Do you like to swim? Alright. And now you can pause the video and ask me some questions. Okay? You can ask me. You can even write in the comment, Teacher Sultan, do you like to? You can think of a new one like um, go bungee jumping or go skydiving or um, play chess. Alright, you can ask me in the comments. I will answer you. Alright. So very good. So we've looked at some of those questions. Let's look for example, I ask you, do you go to the gym? You say, yes I do. So maybe the next question that people often ask is, how often? How often? So now we'll look at that. And we can often answer it using uh, days of the week. So here's some days of the week. Okay. Don't forget seven days equals one week one week okay one week is seven days okay let's look at the seven days so sometimes it starts on sunday or monday but just try to learn so you understand the days okay i'll go through them you can practice the pronunciation with me monday monday tuesday tuesday Wednesday Wednesday so this one it looks like Wednesday but we don't say the N it's when oh sorry we don't say the D Wednesday Wednesday okay the next one the th is hard to say but with your tongue uh, out a little bit Thursday Thursday and Friday Friday so the F is inside you bite your lip Friday those are a little bit tricky also Tuesday and Thursday lots of people mix them up okay so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Saturday Sunday Sunday all right cool for me I say Tuesday or choose I often say Tuesday but you can say Tuesday Tuesday that's better so try and practice that and I'll show you some examples now okay so let's look how often do you do yoga so you can see this person here I do yoga once a week so once a week means one time one time once a week I do yoga once a week on Saturdays he could say, I do yoga on Saturdays. So there, Saturdays means every Saturday. So he does yoga every Saturday, every week on Saturday. Every Saturday. Okay, let's look at more examples. How often do you go swimming? So here you can see, I go swimming twice a week. Uh, I go swimming twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays could even just say I go swimming on Tuesdays and Thursdays okay. so once means one time twice means two times okay usually people just say the first one I go swimming twice a week I go swimming once a week that's okay all right so here how often do you go cycling I go cycling three times a week okay 
so we go once we go twice and we don't really say thrice it's not really a word that people use we say three times a week okay or so that's a good one you can also say I go cycling three times a week on Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays or I go cycling on Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays okay more how often do you go jogging I go jogging four times a week okay same for the other ones but that's enough four times a week how often do you go to the gym I go to the gym five times a week a lot of people go to the gym uh, like this I go to the gym Monday to Friday Monday to Friday also a lot of people work they go to work they work Monday to Friday and when we say Monday to Friday it means Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday okay so that's good to know Monday to Friday okay and here's another one a bit different so how often do you watch TV I watch TV six times a week you can say six days a week a lot of these things if you do it you know on one day uh, maybe different times in the day like in the morning and in the night time you can say that's one day that's one day okay but here for example so six days you could also say I watch TV every day every day except Fridays or whatever your day is here so that means not f including Friday not Friday okay and one other example <laughs> how often do you watch teacher Sultan's YouTube videos so if it's seven days you can say I watch teacher Sultan's YouTube videos every day every day yeah. so other things you might do every day like go to a cafe or I eat every day I sleep every day every day okay this here is more about if you do something many times a day like use Facebook so here how often do you use Facebook you can see here one two three on Monday one two on Tuesday so it could be I use Facebook two or three times a day all right very good and this is a bit different this is if it's different every week so here you can see what they do is go to a cafe you can see in one week it's one two three times the next week one two three four times the next week one two three times so you know often people do different things so with that how often do you go to cafes you could say something like I usually go to a cafe three times a week so here um, here we're using usually because some weeks is three times and some is four times but more of the times it's three so you can use usually to describe uh, that you do that you do this most weeks but not every week okay another example I usually go to the gym five times a week but you know maybe sometimes I'm tired or sick and just go four times a week All right. so just like this here you can see you can see week one five week two four week three five five four five five so I usually go to the gym five times a week and you can see most weeks is five times but some weeks four times so you can say five times okay how are you going guys you good take a break here go back and keep practicing that how often um, that will help you once a week twice a week three times a week don't forget that you can say one time a week but more people say once a week and twice a week um, if you're not sure if you're not sure like uh, three four five I don't know I don't know you can use a different way that these are called adverbs of frequency these are some of the common ones that people use every day so you can see zero is never never I never uh, play rugby ne I don't play rugby I never play rugby rarely is 
maybe you know once a month once a year right very low very low not often a little bit more maybe once a month sometimes could be once a week or two times a month something like this regularly and often is more you know, four times a week five times a week always we don't often say it because we, we always is like all the time all the time uh, it's like every day you know I always brush my teeth uh, kind of means that it's something you do every day okay. but take a look at those green examples you can read them I'll read the first one I go to the gym five times a week I often go to the gym similar meaning similar meaning you can read those other ones there okay and let's do some practice okay so here's our old friend Lily again let's read what she has to say okay I like to watch volleyball play badminton do yoga travel and go to the beach I do yoga once a week and I usually play badminton three times a week okay and I want you to try and answer those yellow questions one what does she like to do how often does she do yoga and how often does she play badminton so pause the video and try and do that okay okay take a look here at the answers she likes to watch volleyball play badminton uh, and do yoga and a few other things you can answer how often does she do yoga she does yoga once a week how often does she play badminton she usually plays badminton three times a week fantastic job guys fantastic all right and another friend here so this time let's read again so I like playing rugby watching football going to the gym jogging skiing and watching movies I usually go to the gym five times a week I watch a movie once a week on Fridays okay so try and answer those yellow questions one what does he like to do how often does he go to the gym how often does he watch movies okay so pause and try and answer them once you've answered them let's look he likes playing rugby watching football and more things he usually goes to the gym five times a week and he watches a movie once a week on Fridays all right very good guys very good now I want you just like that so here somebody talked and we said you know he likes to play rugby go to the gym blah 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 and how often he goes to the gym five times a week he what else is it he uh, watches a movie on Fridays things like that I want you to do the same talk about what your friend likes to do and how often they do it okay so just just like those ones you know, my friend likes to go jogging go swimming play badminton and travel he travels once a month something like that okay I want you to do that so pause and do that you can write in the comment too okay all right guys we're nearly at the end of the lesson if you're having any problems go back and revise but we're at the final dialogue so here's really good we're gonna have a very good realistic conversation okay so we'll read it through once okay um, I will read with you the first time okay the next time you can make your own conversation so I will help you read let's go so here what do you like to do I like to play basketball go shopping and eat out what about you I like jogging playing tennis and doing yoga nice I also like to go for a jog sometimes do you like to go to the gym 
No, I don't. I prefer to do exercise outside. Me too. How often do you go jogging? I go jogging four or five times a week. What about you? I usually go for a jog once a week in the summer. It's too cold for me in the winter. Let's go for a jog on Saturday if it's not cold. Good idea. Alright, so that's the dialogue. If you need more help, go back and do it again. Okay, you can read it, you can pause and read it. Okay, but let's do the final dialogue where you can try and do your own answer. Okay, again, what do you like to do? Don't forget to ask me. Um, I like to travel, play badminton, watch movies, go to restaurants and eat. Your turn. And you ask me, do you like something? Uh, yes, I do. And you ask me. Uh, so I do what that? I do that three times a week. What about you? And here, so here you can try and say like, let's let's watch a movie on Sunday, or something like that. All right, good idea, good idea. All right, guys, fantastic, fantastic. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that was a bit hard the last one, but just for example, just try to say what you like to do. Um, asking me, you know, what I like to do. Do you like to do something? How often do you do things? just keep practicing that um, but very good guys I think that's enough for one day so great job now you can say what you like to do you can say what other people like to do you can say how often you do some things and all of those things all of those things and guys thanks a lot don't forget you can comment any questions uh, you can try and write you know, what do you like to do you can write in the comments please subscribe to my channel share my videos to help other people learn English for free uh, check out my Facebook you can comment on my Facebook teacher Sultan uh, and you can also have classes with me and I have uh, reduced the prices they're quite cheap if you have some friends too uh, but you keep watching for free and learn English that's fine too alright guys so great to see everyone uh, happy new year and see you next time bye bye